Nicole Sun. Welcome to the International Space Station. I've traveled to space two times now, living and working on the space station and helping NASA move people and equipment safely from Earth to orbit and back again. But we want to go farther than that. We want to explore the solar system and journey to another Looks planet, like moon, or right? asteroid. To prepare ourselves, we've constructed a tool like nothing else the Earth has ever seen. To prepare yourself, by the way, you might want to hold on to the real If you start to feel dizzy, just close your eyes and the feeling should pass. See, this is a tool unlike any on Earth because it isn't actually on the Earth. It's orbiting 250 miles above the Earth. The International Space Station has been my home for three and a half months over the course of two missions. The room you're in now is a small but important part of the station, the Destiny Science Lab, where astronauts are doing the work that will shape our future in space. Hi, I'm astronaut and commander Mike Fossil. I've lived on the International Space Station for over six months. Now I'd like to show you around the Destiny Laboratory. On Earth, there isn't a good way to replicate the long period of weightlessness that we experience on a trip to another planet. But the space station yeah, and everything on it are weightless for moving. as long as the station stays in orbit. So weird. So weird. There's no up or down wow. in space. But to keep us oriented, the station is like arranged to so at least like give it a floor on the ceiling. Here, but the lights are all the same thing. way. And on the real space station,
starting to complain or something? <laughs> or you just can't wait? <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna see the show here. Chica, are you excited? Yes. And look, and look, and look, and look. What a cool feat.